Hello everyone and welcome back to another Tech Enthusiast tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to customize your Windows desktop from this to this in just a few minutes. So make sure that you watch to the very end of the tutorial for the complete result. So first, let's start with the customization of the Windows taskbar. So basically go to the website or go to the Google search for the taskbar 11. And here on the GitHub website, which I will also link in video description down below, go to the releases tab. Here, make sure that you click on those two first files. So the first Excel file and the second one. And when you got them from this website, of course, go to your downloads folder. Here, what I recommend is you cut both of the files and then you will paste it in another folder, which we are going to create right now. So basically at the top left, click new, click folder and name it, for example, tweaks, press enter, go to the folder itself and paste both of the files inside. Then first launch the taskbar 11 exe file. And you can clearly see that the taskbar changed completely. And the second launch the first configuration file. You should see this window. Here I recommend that you select this option which hides the system tray area. So basically this will hide this bubble at the bottom right. So click apply right here and you can clearly see that we have the dock for our taskbar basically. But keep in mind that this program isn't capable of auto hiding your taskbar. So if you are using auto hide taskbar feature of the Windows, then I recommend that you do not use this program. Right now we can also add a few more widgets to the desktop. So what I recommend that you install RainMeter. If you don't have RainMeter installed, I will also leave a link in the description down below. And the second, what we are going to do is to install a few widgets. So basically, search for the jack score on the Google. And here, what I recommend that you go to the GitHub website. So I think this is very trusted developer with a very nice widgets for the rain meter. So basically go to the releases tab right here and click on the first file, which has the ending .rm skin. Click on this and here you should see rm skin file. Click on this one and keep in mind that this file won't open if you don't have rain meter installed. So here I have the rain meter skin installer, click install and this should install the Jax core hub for the widgets which we are going to install. Here you can clearly see that we have the startup window. Here what I recommend is that you skip the setup wizard. So right now we can clearly see that we have the Jax core hub. I will maximize the window itself and here I will go to the library. So in the library, we are going to install two widgets. So basically those two modular clocks and modular players. And installation procedure is basically the same for both of them. So click on the modular clocks, click on the green arrow at the top, and this should install the widget itself. So right now we have modular clocks installed. I will make this window a little bit smaller. And you can also see when you maximize the window, we have this animation to make this taskbar fuller. So you can clearly see it right away. And this is enabled by the taskbar 11. So right now we don't have any widgets on our desktop. Make sure that you click on the this button right here. So currently it says not active. Click on this one and it should activate the widget itself. If you go to the general tab, make sure that you scroll down and select your preferred style. Here I really like this one which is inspired by the iOS 16. So this one at the bottom right. Now you can go to the style options and uh, modify a few more properties of this widget. So basically you have two available styles. So with the blur and without the blur, which we currently have enabled. If you want the blur, make sure that you click the blur style requires image magic. So you can click on this button right here and then you can go to this website where you can get the XF file of the image magic. So this one is optional only if you want to have the blur effect on your widget on your desktop. And right now, if you go to the style options, let me show how it will look like. So if you click on this one, make sure that you select here already installed. And right now you can click on this one and you can see that we have a blur on this widget. I think it looks quite nice. So yeah, 
we are done with the first widget. Now go back to the Jack score and then go to the library once again, click on the modular players and basically install it. Now we have the modular players widget installed. Make sure that you activate it first, then you can go to the general once again and make sure that you select the last option, which I also quite like. And it's also inspired by iOS 16. Click on it and you can see that it should restart the ray meter then you can go to the media make sure that the method here is selected modern and then you can go to the style options here you can select click here to regenerate the blur and right now if you go to the website and play let's say one song so let's say joji glimpse of us and if you click on this one you should see that we have this playing right here but I don't know why the blur isn't working so if you have this few issues like me right now what I recommend is that you select another style for example this one it will also look quite nice so this is it for this widget as well but right now you can clearly see that both of them aren't aligned properly so if you right click on the first one click align then horizontally centered and then you can basically move it up and down wherever you like click align and horizontally centered same as for the bottom one horizontally centered put it at the bottom like so and right now we are good to go we still need to add the wallpaper so basically what i recommend is the lively wallpaper app so search for that and then we have the lively wallpaper website you can scroll down and you can get this program from the microsoft store or from the standalone installer here i recommend installer itself and while this is downloading we can go to another website because we are going to modify the already included wallpaper in the lively wallpaper app with another image so here i will search for wallpapers home here select view all wallpapers go on the third page and here i like this one windows 365 here i will just get this 4k version and uh, right now install lively wallpaper app so when you have the lively wallpaper opened make sure that you select here rain which i really like and right now this should apply the wallpaper to the desktop i think that it already looks quite nice but we can modify this wallpaper even further so click on the three dots click customize and here under the image select this option right here and we are going to choose the file that or the image that we got from the wallpapers home website click on this one click open and this should apply another wallpaper for the background and right now i think this is basically it for this tutorial i hope you like this kind of look on your desktop if you do make sure that you subscribe to the channel would really mean a lot to me like this video for the youtube algorithm and uh, all of the links for the programs and widgets and wallpapers will be provided in video description down below so make sure that you check them out and also you can buy me a coffee on coffee.com as well if you found this video helpful of course Thank you so much for watching, see you guys soon in the next one and uh, yeah, have an amazing rest of your day, see you guys soon in the next video and peace.